Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shades and today is going to be a, a bit of a unboxing and mail call. I got a couple of stuff. Um, I think everything is a soft or all or wow, softwares. So I uh, just wanted to try out a couple other things that I haven't tried out before. Um, so just have two packages here starting out. I got just one thing in this little bubble mailer package. So let's uh, open it up. So what it is, I got my Chico Remington knife. More of a letter opener, but uh, actually I don't even need a knife here. Let me just, <laughs> just rip this up. Oh, man, that's good. Now it's getting a little messy. All right, just rip it up here. Yeah, this knife doesn't do much. But uh, whatever, it'll work. A little messy, but got it open. All right, so what did I get? Oh, I just got a single thing um, from one brand that I haven't tried out before. This is from Murphy and McNeil. And I believe this is the Infinitus. Shape soap. <clears throat> and from what I've read on their site, uh, the Infinitus is uh, something kind of a, like an experimental uh, soap where they, um, it's not a permanent line, but they try out different scents and stuff of that or something like that. So, but this one is Neil scent, which is unscented, and it's in the Kodiak base. This is the List of ingredients, it's four ounces of Kodiak soap. And um, yeah, so this is how it looks like. It's got a bit of a rougher pour. Uh, doesn't really have a scent. Just smells like clay, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to try this one out. I know <clears throat> some people are a big fan of the Kodiak base and also the Aeon or just Murphy and McNeil soaps in general. So I'm excited to try this one out. I you know the label's nice and clear. Side label and everything is I think a little bit this displaced. There's a little more space over here compared to down here, but that's alright. Everything looks clean, so I'm okay with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, next one up is a bit of a bigger package. Uh, I got a, a box over here, and this is from, uh, where is it at? This is from a vendor called Beautyways. Um, so the story is that I was trying to get some Nivea shaving cream, but man, it's, it's really hard to get it on uh, for a good price. Uh, on Amazon, they sell it for like 10 bucks, which is, I don't think that's really a fair deal for just one shaving cream. But anyways, they had some and this vendor, or this vendor carried some so I was planning to buy some and when I went to buy it, they ran out of the Nivea shaving cream. But they still had some other stuff that I wanted, so I ordered anyways. Long story short, let me just open this up. Alright, so... Oh, this knife is not working as well, but it's okay. Let me just cut this open. Get this box up. And... Alright. Starting out with some paper <clears throat> to cover up everything. Okay, so one of the box was a little bit uh, crushed up. That's okay. So let me see here. All right. Wow. <clears throat> so they did um, when I. Well, after I purchased everything, they refunded me for one of these soaps. Um, so I guess they didn't have it or something like that. And excuse the noise. Yep, and I don't I don't have that soap. So they just kind of refunded it without really telling me anything about it. But at least they refunded me it. <laughs> Alright, I got enough stuff. Anyways, uh I guess they had some um you can add like fragrance samples for free. 
So I got this one. I'm not sure what this is, but uh, this is a Laven Lavende EDT from Fragonard. I don't know. Can't really smell it from here, but it's from France. Maybe I'll try it out later. All right, so let's go through the stuff that I have. Um, this is mostly shaving creams, but I did get one shave soap. Um, I don't know how this will work, but uh, we'll see. So the first or only shaving soap that I got is I'm not sure. I'm not sure if, it, if it's a shaving soap. It might be just a soap bar that can be that can be used for shaving. But this is Olivos Men Care. Says a uh, soap bar made with pure olive oil for men. The ingredient is sodium olivate. I think that's olive something with olive oil. Aqua perfume coumarin, delimonene, and sodium chloride. So very simple ingredient. Um, yeah, it looks like a soap bar here. All of those. But on the website it says it can be used for shaving. So I'm gonna try it out. It, my guess is that it's gonna produce a bubbly, airy lather, um, but if it's slick, I think uh, I'll be okay with it. So the scent is kind of powdery scent. Yeah, kind of a yeah, just a little musky powdery scent. So that's about it. Nothing too much, but it's made in Turkey. It's uh, 3.5 ounces, so we'll see how that goes. I think I got it for maybe three or four bucks, so just a cheap little soap there. All right, and next one up. <coughs> I got this shaving cream that I have not heard before, but I saw it on the website. Uh, and this, um, this vendor is known for carrying a lot of the imported European products. So they have a lot of things that I want to try out that are outside of the US, the States. But this one is Florena uh, Razier Creme, Creme so Shaving Soap or Shaving Cream. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, actually, I think everything is in German. I don't see any English other than the, uh, the ingredients. I'm not sure if you can see that clearly, but Ingredients: 100 millimeters of Florena shaving cream. I believe this is made in Germany. Uh, I think it's uh, the same company as Nivea shaving cream, if I'm not mistaken. It says a uh, Bayersdorf Hamburg, uh, but it's got a metal. I think this is metal. Yeah, metal container for the shaving cream. Um, yeah, so Comfort, Razier Creme, Florena Men. Uh, let me see how it smells. Oh, interesting. Kind of smells like a cleaner, but uh, reminds me a little bit of palm olive. A little spicy, a little cleaner like, but um, Excited to try this one out. I like the packaging. It looks very clean. So that is that and a couple other shaving creams that I wanted to try out. These are, I believe they're both from Germany as well. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, made in Germany. And these are the same brands, but different types. I got two Spike shaving creams. Um, and I didn't realize this one is vegan. The so it says vegan over here. Other word doesn't say vegan, but um, let me see. Um, I don't see any tallow or, oh, okay. So this one has, the, the classic one has beeswax. So I don't, I think that uh, kind of counts it not as vegan. Anyways, I got the active shaving cream and then the regular shaving cream <clears throat> let me just open it up really quick give it a scent test okay nice little i don't know if it's metal but um clean looking tube here um give it a scent test yeah it smells like the shaving stick so kind of that spicy lavender 
clean scent. And the active is a little bit, oh, got a little flap over here, came out. Uh, different packaging. This one, I think it has some metal in it, but this one is more plastic. Uh, and uh, it opens up like this, so interesting. I don't know, can't really tell the scent from here. Maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit more fresh, kind of like a body wash kind of scent, but very light off the tube. So, but still excited to try this one out. So I got these two Spike 2s and last, lastly, I uh, believe this is from Spain, because it says um, the company is in Barcelona, I think that's in Spain. But this is a lot bigger than I expected. This last one up is La Toja Shave Cream, a classic. Man, this is this is pretty big. It's it covers my covers my whole face. So the packaging is ginormous compared to like the spike packaging. It's like triple the amount, and the cream is quite yeah, it's pretty big. La Toja Crema de Afeitar is it? Para usar con brocha. Oh, I, get, I get, think that's uh means uh, use with a brush. Uh, con sales minerales, maybe without any mineral oils. Guessing, but yeah, excited to try this one out. I have not, actually I have a La Toja shave stick that I, I kept for probably two to three years that I still haven't used, but um, excited to try this one out. This one has a little covering here and then I need to poke with this cap. Um, I guess I'll poke it up right now. Uh, should I poke it? Oh, yeah, I'll poke it. Alright, so... Okay, so this is how it looks. I got a little cream on the cap. It's a little musky. Yeah, I'll say a little bit musky. A um, little bit old, mature kind of scent, but... Um, I've heard good things about this cream, so I'm excited to try this one out. Uh, I got some cream on the cap, so that's kind of annoying, but <laughs> I'll, I'll clean it out later on. All right, let me just wash some of the cream off my fingers. All right, so that is it for these unboxing and mail call. I got a bunch of shaving creams. I got one um, bar soap that might be might work as shaving soap. I don't know, but and then uh, Murphy and McNeil unscented. Uh, Kodiak Bay. So excited to try these ones out. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.